Glad you could join us. Glad every glad both of you could join me. Jesus. It's 202. I said two. I don't, I, I, I don't under, uh, Are you on I, daylight something time? I was waiting for the host to let me in. Same. Uh, <laughs> Jordan, are, is your ring light on? Are you yeah. are you in a dark closet? Are you in a closet or something? it looks like you have no light on you at all? It's only been We're, raining you, here for <laughs> 70 days. Yeah. 30 I mean, days. You, you know that, <laughs> Jordan, you know the ring light's supposed to go in front of your face, right? Uh, not, what do you it's think? It's not I'm supposed to go. It, <laughs> it looks like it's it looks like it's over your shoulder pointing to your back. All right. Nope. right um, here. Millicent, gotta say your lighting's not great either. Um <laughs> Can't be, I mean, I don't even know what color your eyes are. To be fair. Do you see, do you, do you see this? Get one of these. How about you send us one, boss? That's why Harry has the shades on, because he's <laughs> looking directly and into poor. that. <laughs> <laughs> these are blue light shades. They help with <laughs> stuff. Listen, are, you don't know how it is yellow. in the trenches. Those are yellow Whatever. as fuck. There is no blue. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let's get off that because I want to, there's a new feature to the podcast. We're only, what is our third one? And now I'm incorporating sound effects. Go ahead. I like pop. <laughs> that was really funny, wasn't it? What, what was that one? <laughs> that was a lot. I'm sure it was a fart. That's Just what like I thought Harry was about to incorporate was a, a a tooting machine. <laughs> oh, yeah. There, there it is. There we go. <laughs> the, the other day, I was outside waiting for Harry, and I thought he was like just BSing us when he said that his Tesla honked and farted. And it literally <laughs> honks and farts when he honks. <laughs> a very I mean, why, when, why would you own any other car? when that car does that has that i mean that that's the feature it's why it, it sold me it sold me you know doesn't it do it when you're uh, when your blinkers on too instead of that does it inside it does that inside the car yeah it'll it'll fart when you do the blinkers <laughs> which is it never is not funny it never gets old i mean trust me i've been driving it for a year and it still doesn't get old but when you honk it's it shoots the part out through the trunk or you know the hood and everybody yeah. can hear it. So, so like, if a, like, you know, like an, an old lady's walking in front of the car, I'll give her a little toot, literally. A, you know, and she'll look around like, what the hell? And, you know, I think she thinks it's probably her. Um, but then also, like, Jordan, if you tell a bad joke, you know. <laughs> Too bad I'm not in control of it. I know. I need to go in for three because it goes really bad. I just need to. Oh, what's that, Melissa? Go ahead. What'd you say? Your jokes are definitely bad. <laughs> Wait, go ahead. Say that again. I didn't hear you. Your jokes are normally bad. And I'll go on and on and on, too. That's the other thing. You don't wear out a joke. You know, you got to keep it going. No one knows that more than you. Yeah, you don't want to. It's just like a, you know, a good, a good piece of clothing, a good garment. You don't want to, you know, just throw it out because it's got a little wear and tear on it. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I got, the, you know, so uh, I was, you know, the the real the big podcasts out there have buffer music to go in on, and I was researching it. You have to pay all this money for licensing if you want like a good song. <laughs> so the only thing. Uh, you know how cheap I am. We're, we're, we have to go like back like 200 years. Oh my gosh. What was that? And we, uh, is there any like Beethoven or Vivaldi or Mozart that you guys prefer? <laughs> I was wondering if we we're going to have some intro uh, music. What if, uh, what if YY puts a little original together for us? Well, I thought of that, but I, you know, he's just uh, starting as a musician, so I don't want it to be bad. <laughs> this could be his breakout, though. You well, you're right. I was thinking about this song. Can you hear it? I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Jesus, we'll have to cut that in post. <laughs> this one. It's 
You know that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That sounds like end of days are coming. Literally. Is it, is it, yeah, it's, it's a little aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. I, I want people to get kind of psyched up and then, you know, and then be let down. <laughs> <laughs> They start listening to it. Kind of, kind of like what you do to me on the reg. Ayo! Oh, oh, good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else are we going to talk about? Seltzer fatigue. Oh, yeah. The- yeah. Hot girl summer. I was wondering where you're going to go with that one. And then let's uh, start. Let's start with that. So, okay. You know, I, as you all know, I, I I'm in, I'm immersed in youth culture the culture, the pop culture. And I've noticed that a lot of uh, focus right now, first of all, on baggy jeans and, and high-waisted jeans, which I do not like. That trend needs to go back to the 80s where it spawned. <laughs> and uh, what were we talking about? High girl I, summer. Yeah. Right, right, right. COVID fog. Um, and it just seems like everybody's talking about hot girl summer and that this summer is going to be the hottest of hot and hot guy summer. Everybody, it's just going to be a hot summer. And when I say hot, not necessarily temperature wise, if you know what I mean, I'm talking about everybody is going to, it's, Ooh, it's going to be a Dionysian revelry out there. Uh, Cause people have been cooped up and they're going to be ready. They're going to be single and ready to mingle. And so, uh, I, well, I'm of course not single, but uh, it will be fun just to, you know, we ought to think of something that we're going to do each of us this summer that we wouldn't normally do. Something, you know, out of the ordinary. And for hot girl summer, <laughs> being the hottest girl on this podcast, I will say, <laughs> I am going to jump into a lake naked. That is my hot girl summer promise daytime or nighttime well for the sake of others <laughs> probably nighttime okay <laughs> but for the sake of my own safety probably probably daytime i don't okay. know or early morning let's say okay melissa's already done it she's already done it this summer melissa oh, i forgot <laughs> Mil- you did that back in the spring early early i, I mean i did or that. was that fall I did that in, I think it was September of last year in front of, and in front of, what's the, what was the other couple? It was very hot outside. So I was on my <laughs> hot girl shit last summer. And I, so I, what do you, how I, are you going to top that? I, I mean, I don't really know how I can. I stripped naked in front of wholesalers and jumped in their lake. So I don't think you can really tell uh, Well, our subscriptions up. <laughs> um, Gordon, what, what are you doing during hot girl summer? Uh, I honestly <laughs> haven't thought about it. One, it's a second. You told me the topic was going to be hot girl summer. I didn't know how I was specifically going to be involved in that. So, um, let me get back to you with my uh, with my pledge you, next part. Are you going to be Are you going to be wearing baggier pants, for instance? Uh, I always heard, wear baggy also, pants. I've heard that cargo shorts are coming back, and you know, and Crocs have already been coming back, and then yeah, there's. There's all sorts of great trends that are making a comeback from the 80s, unfortunately. Well, yeah. I, I jumped on, even though I don't have TikTok and I never go on TikTok, but I joined the gene trend because I'm getting older. I have a six-year-old who thinks I'm like super uncool. I'm 34. I think y'all know that. So I felt like I was getting old. So I was like, I'm going to jump into this trend and buy these jeans. And they are the most unflattering. And I'm also not the thinnest, duh. But they're the most unflattering things I own. Uh, whatever. The jeans go like well, up to your bra. So it just makes see, you. Those, like, that's, eh. that's the kind of jeans I need. I, I mean, I already pull them up as high as they'll go, but I need them to go higher. I need them to go all the way almost to my tutas, my titties. 
I mean, Matitas. We see your Matitas. pictures. We see your pictures. We see what's what's going <laughs> yeah. on with the pants going higher. We see what's going on. Mm, my love <laughs> machine. I'm just fermenting beverages in there. <laughs> uh, we'll cut that out in post. If anybody's <laughs> still listening. <laughs> So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, seltzer fatigue, let's talk about, I mean, so that was what we wrote about today. We, we kind of gathered from all over the country, various wholesalers opinions on what their trends, what they're seeing. And, uh, you know, the law of big numbers, you know, they're still gaining share in other words, but they we're not seeing the hundred percent trends where they're, they've been knocked down to anywhere from 10 to 30%. looks like, it looks to me like, I mean, Jordan, you tell me if that, that, I mean, we can look at the scan data, but from a wholesaler's perspective, that, that truly is doing better than, than White Claw as far as just uh, percent change. Its trends are doing better, but there's still a sizable gap between them and right, Mark Anthony. Right, right. And so, Mark a, a, so a 20% a 20 gain and, and truly is not as much as a 20% gain in White Claw. I right. get what you're saying because math is hard. Yeah, <laughs> science is hard. Um, I don't like doing it. But you but, know, go ahead. I, I was going to say you're you're better at doing math, so do some math. Oh, Jordan. I don't know about that. But you know, why? Uh, truly has had more innovation lined up this year, and they continue with Truly Punch right now. So it seems like almost every month this year, they've had a big new innovation rolling and that's kind of helped them stay on top. As far as that, fastest uh, growing. I wonder if that's a function of owning more of your own production capacity, you know, that you can make, you can kind of pivot faster. I mean, I don't know that to be true, but. I think they um, own less than Mark Anthony though. Jim, Jim well, says guess, he wants. I guess now. Yeah, Jim says he wants to keep it at 50-50 between in-house and contracted out so i mean i of course watch a bunch of bullshit tv um you know real housewives and all that and the amount of truly ads and things i see is insane i mean i see more truly commercials than i do any other brand just any other brand in general like it's it just yeah they they've, they've stepped up their game big time oh, yeah yeah well well and the and the if you you know you want to talk about the fatigue I mean just like it's like you said uh, Chanel on, on the last podcast Chanel Gold Coast <laughs> you said uh, yeah you said that you're back you're back to beer because hashtag, uh, it's the sweet that you're getting kind of yeah it gets, it does get you know old after a while it's just kind of sweet and there's not not much there i guess well yeah. i i i don't really know why i strayed from beer because calorie intake is obviously not something i care about like i i i never drank a seltzer because i thought it was less calories than a beer or anything of the sort but i'm i'm burnt out like i'm i'm just i'm no. back to beer like i'm 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 tired i'm honestly tired of like vodka too like I've noticed I'm drinking more beer and wine now because I've burnt myself oh. out on vodka and seltzers. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, one thing I wanted to add is there's seltzer fatigue and there's also some seltzer shaming go going on, at least for, at least for males, I think, you know, because sometimes you order a white claw and somebody's going to say something to you about why you're holding a white claw as a guy or a truly or any sort of seltzer because they say oh you need to drink you need to drink a real beer like a real man you know all that kind of masculinity um it it comes into play with drinking seltzer and uh leslie's dad was telling me that uh, one of his friends ordered a white claw at a bar and the bartender asked what sorority he was in <laughs> i mean people <laughs> people are harsh yeah <laughs> so i think uh, i think s some people are a little wary of ordering one at the bar just because there might be a there might be a little seltzer shaming going on well listen i'm proud 
I'm proud to be a little on the feminine side and I can drink a strawberry seltzer all day long. Don't count me out. Right, Mills? <laughs> you've, seen, you've seen me do it. Um, any on that, on that note, um, <laughs> uh, it's like we can say whatever we want now. We've, we've, we've run off the last listener. And <laughs> I saw on the, on the first podcast, like the average listening was like in minutes. <laughs> And it was a 30 minute podcast. So, uh, I had notes, but then I lost them. This couch eats everything. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, tomorrow we're going to have Komil Gajwawala as a guest. Oh, and so, nice. we're having our first guest. And uh, Komil is uh, the one who commissioned this cool painting of me The Call of, Dan- the call of Danger. Because as everybody knows, Danger is my middle name. Love me some Comel. Me too. Great. Good. Good. All right, guys. Anything else? <laughs> Jordan, you got you got an open mic anywhere? You gonna? I was thinking about this today. Like, why? Um, how did I? Why do I call you Mr. Sunshine? Other than you know, you're so bubbly. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> It beats me. You just started doing it. I think you were just really into uh, Umbrella. Re- yeah, Rihanna Umbrella, like 10 years later. And uh, <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's, what the, that's, that's what the song's well, is there, is there Is there a Mr. Sunshine reference in there? It, yes, it says Mrs. Sunshine, Rihanna, where you at? Jay Z says it. Oh. Right? That's what he says. Miss. Yeah. That so is it, where I got it. So every time Mr. Sunshine, where are you at? That's what I was right. Because when I, yes. yeah, because you, you never jump in it. I was like, Mr. Sunshine, where are you at? Like Jay Z says. Well, you get, I knew it was a, you get I knew, fixated on a song. And like, I'm glad the titanium phase is over every time you pay. Titanium. Yeah. I probably brought it back. Oh, that's, it's it's coming back. back. You know what? I just I sang that so perfectly that now uh, the YouTube algorithm is going to wipe this because of the copyright infringements. <laughs> I better not start singing. I better not. From the top of the pole, I watch her go down. She got my throwing my money around. Ain't but no more before to be found. She's going down, down. <laughs> Do you know who that is? Flo Rida. Flo Rida. You got it. You got it, sister. Way to go. All right. Well, that's enough for trivia for today. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll bark at you tomorrow. Ruff, ruff, right, Key? All right, guys. Thank you for drinking beer.